now I'll show you how to load CDs into B2. This is also called ripping. This B2 is empty, as you can see with the info button or the web UI. First insert the CD. The CD was an incredible invention, but it didn't include track names. So B2 uses a digital fingerprint to find the track names in a database called FreeDB. Sometimes you get more than one match. Pick the right album name and push the knob. B2 starts copying the CD to the hard disk. You can see the progress and the current speed. It gets faster towards the outer tracks. The CD will eject when ripping is complete. If you press info, you will see that the CD has been ripped as WAV files. WAV files are big, but compression is slow, so B2 will compress the WAV files during standby. If you leave B2 alone for five minutes, you will see compression start. You can interrupt compression by pressing any button or turning the volume. It won't do any harm. If you press info now, you will see how many WAVs have been compressed. I'll repeat that rip, but this time I'll show you the web UI. The CD panel appears when you insert the CD. I don't generally use the web UI for ripping, but it gives you the option to load cover art. Click on the art button. B2 will attempt to find cover art in an online database. It's not great, maybe only 30% of your CDs will be in there. So I'll show you another way later. Then click the rip button. By the way, if you load a CD again, it will simply overwrite the previous copy. As the tracks are loaded, they will begin to show up in the web UI. What if your CD is not in the database? If your CD is not recognized, then pick the temporary numeric album name. Then after it has ripped, you can rename it. If you have a multi-CD album, I recommend you rename each CD after you load it. If you want to add or change the cover art for an album, this is the simplest way. First, you need to find a suitable image on the internet and download it to your computer. Then select the album so it appears in the album panel. Click on the icon or the old image. Then click the Choose File button and find the image you downloaded. Then click on Send to B2. Finally, I'll show you a rip using an external mechanism. I plugged this USB drive into USB-C while the power was off. B2 will now use the external drive. This can be faster and will save wear and tear on the internal drive if you plan to load thousands of CDs.